Hi guys, um, this is Terry here. Um, so what I'm going to be looking at, I'm going to go through the solutions to the January 2022 paper. Right? Um, my first glance at the paper, the paper wasn't too bad. Right? So hopefully students were able to get through. Alright, so our first question here, right? they said using a calculator or otherwise. Now normally I tell students, because they give you the option of using the calculator, you might as well use the calculator, right? Now, what we're trying to work out here is 8.9 plus to the 1.6 all over 0 0.75 multiplied by 5.4, right? Now if you have to work this out, what I suggest you do is to work out the numerator first, then work out the denominator, and then go ahead and divide it. Um, so let's get our calculator here. And make sure you'll see in the calculator. All right, so what I wanna work out first, I wanna work out 8.9 plus 31.6, right? And I'm gonna get 40.05. So this here is 40.5, sorry, 40.5, right? And then you're gonna divide that by, so we need to work out that 0.75 by 5.4. So 0 0.75 multiplied by 5.4, and that's gonna give me 4.05. So this is 4.05. So all we're gonna do now, we're just gonna divide those two numbers. So 40.5 divided by 4.05, and you're gonna get 10 as your answer. So the answer for this first part here is simply 10. Now, the next thing we have to work out here, they want us to work out the value of 3.9 tan 18 degrees. So this here is 3.9 tan 18 degrees, right? So basically, we can do this in one go in the calculator. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say 3.9 multiplied by tan, right? That's a trigonometric ratio on your calculator here. Tan 18, and that's going to give me 1.267, right? So I'm getting 1.267. Um, but they want us to give our answer to, to one decimal place. So let's look at this carefully. So we have 1.267, right? In terms of um, this here is my first decimal point. That's the one decimal place. But what we need to pay attention to, we need to pay attention to the six here. Now that six is more than five. So what that means is that if I want to write this to one decimal place, I must increase this two by one, right? So therefore, my answer should be 1.3, and that's my answer to one decimal place, right? So that's my answer for that part. Okay, so this next part of the question here, they said rear speed at a rate of 13.50 per hour. So this here is her basic That's a basic rate, right? And they told us during a certain week she's working 40 hours, right? How much did she earn? So um, her wage, right, is going to be equal to your 40 hours multiply by the cost per hour, which is 13.50, right? So that's a cost per hour, right? Um, so all we need to do, we need to just multiply that on the calculator. So that is 40 multiplied by 13.50, and I'm getting $540, right? So what she has here is $540. That's, her, um, that's how much she's gonna earn in one week. The next part, she works four weeks, right, in the month, and her gross earnings is 
A regular week is 40 hours and overtime is paid at one and a half times the hourly rate. So before I even do anything, I should work out the overtime rate, right? So your overtime rate. Now, since I say one and a half, it's going to be 1.5 multiplied by your basic wage rate before, which was 1350. So this is 1350 here. So that's 1.5 by 1350, right? So let's use the calculator to do that. 1.5 by 1350, and you're gonna get 2025. So this is our overtime um, rate here, $20.25, right? Um, okay, so this figure here, they're telling us that this is how much she's paid, right? So she's being paid 2463.75. So this is 2463.75. But here's the thing. That is actually made up of her basic wage, right? As well as overtime. Now the question is saying here what? Show that Rhea worked 15 hours. So basically we know what the answer is already. So we're working to get 15. Now um, let's look at the basic. Okay, the basic is easy to work out. Her basic wage, right? If she works a normal 40 hour week, it's $540. But they are telling us that she worked for four weeks. So the basic here is gonna be four multiplied by 540. And that's gonna give me, um, so four multiplied by 540. And you're gonna get 2160. So this is how much, right? So this is her basic wage, right? If she works four weeks. So therefore, we can figure out how much overtime it was. So the overtime now is gonna be the 2463.75 minus the 2160, right? And that's gonna give me, um, let's see. So 2463.75 minus the 2160 and I'm going to get 303.75. So this here is 303.75, right? And what we need to do now, so this is a overtime amount, right? The overtime wage. So therefore the number of hours, so your number of hours all we need to do here is to take what the overtime wage was which is the 303.75 and we need to divide that by your overtime wage rate which is twenty dollars and twenty five cents when I divide these two numbers hopefully I should get 15 so divided by how many um, 2025 Right, and I'm getting 15. So 15 hours is actually correct, right? So that's the answer for that part of the question, right? So now, they told us that Rhea's, she's been taxed in August, 20% of her gross earnings was deducted as tax. So since you know what a gross earnings is, it is 2463.75, so her taxes, Right, they told us what the tax rate is 20%, right, of her gross earnings, which was um, 2463.75. So this is 2463.75, right? Again, we use a calculator for this. So 20%, right, is 2463.75. Two four six three point seven five, two four six three point seven five, and what I'm getting here is four ninety two point seven five. So four ninety two point seven five, right? Now that's the taxes. So they said how much is does she have left, right? So her remaining amount. So some students may have just worked that out and forgot that they need to do a subtraction here. So the remaining amount is going to be two four. 
93.75 minus 4.92.75 so 2463.75 minus the taxes which is 492.75 and you're gonna get 1971, right? 1971. So this is the remaining amount that she has, right? So that's how much she's taking home. Now, this last part here now, they told us that she invested some money in um, simple interest, right? So the simple interest formula is principal by rate by time over 100 so that's gonna be, your principal is $219. That's how much you invested. Multiply by the rate, which is 4.5. Multiply by um, three years. And you're dividing that by 100. This here is gonna give me what my simple interest is gonna be. So that is 219 multiplied by 4.5. Multiplied by three years. Divided by 100. And I'm getting 29.57, right? So I'm getting 29.57, right? So that's how much she is getting in simple interest, right?